We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai and I'm very pleased to be joined by Tim Unwin, who is Secretary General of the Commonwealth Telecommunications Organization. Tim, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Pleasure to be here. I'd like to start off by asking you about your, your impressions of, of Wicket. I know you've just, just uh, arrived, but we've been going for a couple of days now. What, do, what are your impressions, what are your, your hopes that we're going to see here at Wicket? Well, I think I, I've been impressed immediately, despite all the uh, interesting press coverage in advance, that there seems to be a real willingness for people to compromise and reach agreement on this and I think that reflects a lot of hard work done by ITU officials over the last couple of weeks in actually getting us to that and and in terms of hopes you know we have to come away from here with some positive outcomes and I, I've, I've heard a, a several really interesting things already even those you say have only been here a day so I, I, I'm much more hopeful than I was before I came. And what do you see as a Commonwealth member's role in supporting some of the issues that are being raised here at Wicked 2012? Yeah. Well, I think the Commonwealth has got two particularly important positive assets. One is it's 54 countries across all the different continents of the world. So although there are lots of regional groupings who you know, are lobbying and trying to reflect their own interests, actually the Commonwealth can, can help pull all of that together. And certainly talking with ITU officials, they've really welcomed that, that we're able to be yeah, a quite a large subset reflecting many different dimensions. And I think the second part of that, and it's related, is of course that we have both some of the richest countries in the world and some of the poorest. And, and, and so we really do reflect not only geographical variation, but also the, 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 the issues that are really being teased out between say, the European countries, North America, Australia, and some of the poorest countries of Africa, Caribbean, Pacific, and, and Asia. And I think, you know, talking in, in, in a common language, we, we also have a common legal tradition in common law, which I think is really important. And that's something that, that could be of real benefit to the wider international community. And what do you think will be some of the conclusions reached here at Wicket 12? Yeah, I, very difficult to say. It's about, I mean, the most important one, as I've said earlier, that we do reach a, 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 a new set of agreements. But I've, I've heard some very positive things about, for example, multi-stakeholder partnerships. And, and, and I think there, and it's something I've worked a lot on in the past, and yeah, everyone uses slightly different terminology and means slightly different things by it. And, and I would hope that we can actually reach some kind of clear agreements because they don't always work everywhere. They're, they're often seen as a panacea. Uh, they're actually really difficult to do well. And, and something else that I, you know is, is dear to my heart is the disability agenda. And it's really good to see that featuring prominently. So, you know, already there are, there are some, I think, very positive outcomes. Um, but a lot of hard work is going to be needed over the next 10 days or so to get us to where we need to be. Tim, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. My pleasure. Thank you.